हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी स्टार्ट अवर इलेवेंथ चैप्टर सॉइल सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी लर्न अबाउट हाउ अ सॉइल इज फॉर्म्ड ओके एंड हाउ अ सॉइल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अवर लाइफ और फॉर अवर सर्वाइविंग प्रोसेस ओके एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लेयर्स that is present on earth and which layer is useful for growing plants okay and next is what is soil erosion and how we conserve the soil from weather conditions okay so firstly now we start soil is very important for life to exist on the earth it helps plant to grow and provide home to many small animals and insects as we all know that all living things are all living beings like mostly like humans and animals plant uh, animals and birds they get food from the plants okay and plants grow with the help of soil if the soil is not good or not a fertile then the plants cannot grow properly and we cannot get a raw food from the plants okay so firstly now we start our chapter let's go observe the given sequence of pictures draw the last picture in the sequence so first you can see a big rocks okay and the rain is coming second is uh that big that big rocks further divided into small rocks then these small rocks further divided into small stones and these small stones further divided into sand okay and this conversion of uh, soil from big rocks to the sand is due to the weathering uh, due to the weathering conditions like wind rain sun okay so these are some weathering condition under which rocks get converted into sand particles okay now we start formation of soil means how soil is formed as we discuss in previous pictures that firstly there is a huge type of rocks and these rocks are divided into small and small particles with the help of weathering conditions okay now we read we already know that soil is formed by the continuous weathering of rocks big rocks are broken down into small grains by natural factors and what are that natural factors wind rain and sunlight this process of weathering takes million of years beside the natural factors the hardness of a particular rock also determine how easily it break into pieces means if the rock is very hard then it takes a long time for breaking if the rock is soft then it takes a less time as compared to the strong rock okay next is composition of soil means what are the components that is present inside the soil okay that is useful for us so the components uh, so the components that made the soil is sand silt clay along with humus air and water here uh, anybody know what is a humus so humus is a dead plants and animals that present inside the soil and they also increase the uh, some portion of a fertility of soil okay other than the soil also contain pebbles and stones and minerals such as calcium potassium and iron means the soil contain a small small pebbles and stones and it also contains a large quantity of minerals inside the soil which are useful for the plants for proper growth okay and some of them uh, some of the minerals are calcium potassium and iron now we discuss now we learn about the types of soil so firstly soil is the type of soil is depending upon the physical appearance feel and soil okay these are the some um, 
factors on which a soil is depending first is appearance physical appearance of that soil and feel okay now we discuss firstly clay soil okay in this chapter we learn about the three types of soils clay sandy and loamy soil first is clay soil it consists of clay particles in greater proportion clay particles become sticky and lumpy when wet due to which it holds a lot of water water does not flow out easily clay aapke paas aapne clay se toys banaye honge theek hai aap usme kya observe karoge agar aap jo clay se toys banate ho to unko agar aap pani ke andar dip karoge to wo geele nahi hote theek hai means wo tootte nahi hai pani ke andar unme kya hota hai thoda sa oily structure hota hai ठीक है मीन्स इट कैन होल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर इन साइड इट एंड दैट वाटर कैन नॉट गेट आउट फ्रॉम दैट सॉइल ओके मीन्स क्ले सॉइल हैविंग अ लार्जेस्ट प्रॉपर्टी टू होल्ड द वाटर इन साइड इट ओके एंड वाटर डज नॉट फ्लो आउट इजली फ्रॉम दैट सॉइल बट दिस सॉइल इज नॉट फिट फॉर द ग्रोइंग ऑफ प्लांट्स okay next is sandy sandy soil mainly present in the desert area okay as we um, imagine that sandy soil is very light in weight okay but it cannot hold a water in it because the uh, particles that are present in a sandy soil are very fine fine means bahut पतले और ब्रिक पार्टिकल्स होते हैं ठीक है जब आप उस रेत को अपने हाथ में लोगे तो वो इजिली आपके हाथ से छूट जाएगी ठीक है मीन्स वो उसके उनके जो पार्टिकल्स होते हैं वो बहुत ज़्यादा पतले होते हैं ब्रिक होते हैं ठीक है सो वाटर कैन नॉट होल्ड इन इट ऑल्सो एंड दिस सॉइल इज ऑल्सो डू नॉट ग्रो वेरी वेल इन द सॉइल एज वेल एज प्लांट्स okay means plants cannot grow in this type of soil next is loamy soil loamy soil jahan pe hum apne khet mein jo bhi soil present hai theek hai wo kaun si hai loamy soil because it can hold a proper amount of water that is required for the plants for proper growth okay and in this there is a mixture of all types of soils clay sandy and humus okay and it is also called as a garden soil in this soil there is a proper amount of presence of minerals air small animals microbes which are very useful for the plant growth okay next we discuss about layers of soil okay means soil profile here you can see a picture it tells about the different types of layers first is humus top soil subsoil weathering rocks fragmentation and bedrock but here we discuss the three types of layers that is important for us first is top soil subsoil and bedrock okay so the first and uppermost layer of the soil is top soil and it contains all types of soil for example clay sandy humus and loamy okay and it also contains a proper amount of water and air inside the soil and this layer is very useful for the proper growth of plants okay and in this layer there is a uh, fertility of soil also and it is very important for plants next is subsoil subsoil is second layer and it is present under the top soil layer okay but in this layer there is a presence of small rocks in it okay next and last is lower most layer of soil is called the bedrock means jo sabse last pe jo soil hai use hum kya kehte hain bedrock because of the presence of large amount of rocks in it it found under the subsoil and mainly consist of large pieces of rocks also okay next is time please give one word for the following soil is formed by the weathering of rocks okay soil that allow water to pass through it so the sandy soil allow water to pass through it 
soil that becomes sticky when wet. So, a clay, uh, clay soil is the answer. Fourth soil that is best suited for growing plants. So, the loamy soil is best for growing plants. Fourth, uh, fifth is the uppermost layer of soil is known as a top soil. Okay. And B section you have to label the different parts of a layers. Okay. As we discuss above. First is humus, topsoil, subsoil, weathering rocks and last one is bedrock. Okay. Now, uh, our last topic is soil erosion and conservation. First of all, what is a soil erosion? The soil that is present on the surface of earth means topsoil that is very useful for us. Okay means which help us to the proper growth of a uh, uh, growth of a plant so the fit, uh, that uh, soil is conserved for us for the growing of different plants so firstly the definition of soil erosion is the removing of topmost fertile layer with the process of different conditions like uh, wind, air and water ok means removal of topmost fertile layer is known as a soil erosion and this layer is uh, removed with the help of heavy rainfall, strong winds and floods and these help us to increase the soil erosion. Next is uh, soil topsoil is very important to preserve. So, the preservation of soil erosion is known as a soil conservation. Now, we have to follow these points to conserve the soil erosion. First of all, we should not cut down trees because trees hold the soil particles tightly. So, it cannot, so the uh, soil particles cannot move from one place to another place. So, we should grow more and more trees to prevent the soil erosion. Second is land should not be left barren. Trees and shrubs should be planted so that soil not, not left loose. Means uh, you should not leave the land without any trees. Means if you have any land, you should not leave any trees. या तो आप उसके ऊपर एग्रीकल्चर करो ठीक है कोई ना कोई आप प्लांट्स ग्रो करो जिससे क्या है उस जगह की जो सोइल पार्टिकल्स हैं उनको क्या है होल्ड किया जाए ठीक है आप उन पे हर्ब्स लगा सकते हो स्मॉल प्लांट्स लगा सकते हो ठीक है ग्रासेस लगा सकते हो टू होल्ड द सोइल पार्टिकल्स थर्ड वन इज फ्लड शुड बी चेकड बाय बिल्डिंग डैम्स एंड कैनल्स जो फ्लड है उनका हमें फ्लड का पहले ही पता चल जाता है कि फ्लड आने वाला है ठीक है so, we should have to control that conditions of floods from dams and canals also by providing them a good building structure. Next is soil fertility. What is the soil fertility? The ability of soil to allow growth of plant is called soil fertility. Means soil ki wo ability jisse plant ki proper growth hoti hai. Thik hai? Toh hum kya kahenge? Soil fertility. We can increase the soil fertility with the help of crop rotation. If we grow one type of uh, one type of crop every season, then it loses the soil fertility. Okay, so to increase the soil fertility, we have to do a crop rotation. Crop rotation means after every six months, we have to change the crop in our field. For example. Um, for first six months, we grow wheat in our fields. Okay, after the harvesting of weeds, we should grow a rice or other uh, other crops in our field. So that type of process help us to increase the soil fertility. Okay, and uh, but we sh uh, but humans can populate soil with many ways. Okay. For example, farmers using pesticides and fertilizers to grow our plants, okay, and it uh, it increases the soil pollution also, okay. Next is um, factories use chemicals and fact, uh, chemicals for the making of fertilizers, and they left into the soil. 
we throw our household or garbage on the soil so that that particular part of a soil is get polluted with a dump in the soil okay so this is all about this chapter firstly we talk about formation of soil then what are the composition of soils okay here uh, after that we discuss the three types of soil clay soil sandy soil and loamy soil and uh, three types of soil uh, profiles and soil layers okay after that soil erosion and conservation next is fill ups first dash soil holds more water so clay soil hold more water second is garden soil is also called loam plants grow in the top soil soil erosion refers to the removal of fertile top soil we can restore soil fertility by crop rotation next is click the uh, tick the correct option first which of these rock qualities determine the type of soil present in an area so um type of soil having a different qualities so that qualities are size of that um, size of that soil or sand feel color and composition of a soil means the answer is all of these part uh, all of these qualities are present inside the type of soil second is which of these is best suited for growing crops so the answer is loamy soil which of these causes soil uh, erosion floods cutting down of trees barren lands means these all are the methods by which we reduce the uh, soil fertility and remove the soil erosion so the answer is all of these thank you and have a nice day